Hi guys, it's Jenny and today I'm going to give you a quick flow that you can do in the morning or just sometime you feel like a nice gentle stretch to get you going. So we're going to start off just standing up nice and tall, reach up high, breathe in, stretch. So just reaching up, stretching back, stretching to the side, nothing right, nothing wrong, just make some space. And then you're going to fall forwards. Maybe you touch your toes, but if it's the morning, you can bend your knees. Just let your head go, your neck go. Sway side to side, using the weight of your head, neck and shoulders just to bring you down. And then bend the knees, rounding all the way up. Back up to that stretch position. Reach back, lean back a little bit. Stretch. Arms can go wide. And then we're going to fold forwards again. Maybe legs are a little bit straighter. Maybe you sway side to side to so just straighten one leg and then the other leg. Letting your head and neck relax. Bend the knees rounding up all the way to the top. Last time, stretch overhead. You can grab your hands if you want to reach up. And then fold forwards. Stretch the backs of your legs, maybe your lower back. Maybe you can put your hands on the back of your head just to stretch your neck a little bit. Swaying side to side. If you've been laid down for eight hours, this can be quite intense already. So just, you know, nice and easy on your body. Don't push or force anything at this time. From there you're going to bend your knees, put your hands on the floor, step one foot back and the other, drop your knees down, drop your hips down so you're in like a cobra position or if you're feeling a bit more energetic you can push up off the floor so you're pushing out through your arms and pushing out through your feet so that your knees are off as well. So more of an upward dog, sway side to side, just whichever you fancy. And then inhale, sitting back to your child's pose. Stretch your shoulders, stretch your back. Deep breath. Then roll forward, rounding the back onto all fours. We're gonna do a couple of cat cows. So drop the chest, lift the chin, lift the hips, arching the back, and then reverse it. Rounding the back, shoulder blades moving apart, hips tucking under. Imagine you're trying to make a big curve with your entire spine. And then switch, arching, chest up, hips up. You're making a, a curve as well, but this time we'll go the other way. <laughs> and now we're gonna go side to side. So instead of making the curve um, like this, imagine if you're looking down on top of you, you're making a C shape, so you're pulling your shoulder to your hip and then switch shoulder to hip and just switch a couple of times stretching laterally okay now we're going to kind of mix those two together and do some disco cat or sexy cat as Tom calls it so drop your chest and belly down push out to the side push up to the top and then out to the other side. So we're gonna make big circles like this and then the other way. Cool, just a couple more, one more, and then the other way. So you're getting your shoulders and your back moving. We're just gonna do a couple of shoulder circles while we're here. So elbows stay straight, roll your shoulders nice and smoothly. So you're going forwards, back, back, to your ears, down your back, down to the floor. And then switch directions, forwards, back, up, forwards, back, up. Cool, easy peasy. You're gonna tuck the toes, lift up the hips, we're in a downward facing dog. You can bend your knees, you can walk your legs like this, so you're bending one leg at a time, moving your hips a little bit. You can push yourself through with bent legs or you can have your legs straight and your heels down. Whatever is most comfortable for you. We're going to walk forwards one step at a time. Leading with one foot, 
and then the other. See if you can get them straight as you go, but no pressure to. If you've got your legs bent, that's fine as well. Bend the knees, rounding on up, nice and tall. Stretch like we did at the start. And then we're gonna do a couple of hip circles. So just feet just wider than shoulder width. We're gonna hands on the hips and go round and round. Just a couple one way and a couple the other way. Getting the legs going. We've done kind of the back and the shoulders. Now we're gonna do a little bit on the legs. Round, round, switch directions. Round and round. And then take your feet a bit wider. This is wider, it's comfortable, doesn't need to be crazy. And we're gonna forward fold in this position. So if you can get to the floor, great. If not, just put your hands on your, on your legs and see wherever's comfortable for you. If you can get them down, you can do that. Or you can do the same as we did before when we were stood up. You can put the hands on the back of your head and let yourself fall over giving yourself a little bit of extra help. And then come up out of that. Um, you're gonna, if you can't reach the floor, you're just gonna put one hand down. If you can, put that hand on the floor and you're gonna reach the other hand up and twist. Doesn't matter if your hand is down here, just get it as far as it feels good for you. So we're stretching the hamstrings and the torso at the same time. And then switch. Other hand down, other hand up. If you're not on the floor, you're just twisting like this. And then back down once more in that forward fold. Bend knees round and on up. Reach up. Maybe push the hips forwards. Stretch. And then we're going to come down into a squat. So bring your hands down and just bring your feet wherever you need to for the squat. You know, go down nice and gently, rock into one side, and then the other side. You know, no pressure to have both heels down at the same time. We're just going to be stretching our hips a little bit. You can have your hands on the floor as well. Push your knees out with your elbows. If you're not even this low, you know, you can be up here. Just doing whatever feels good for you. It's just the morning, remember, we're not going crazy. And then sit down on the floor. Bring your feet together. So this is butterfly position. If this is a little bit uncomfortable for you, just put your hands behind you, or you could sit on a few pillows, a few cushions, something to lift your hips up. That should make the stretch a little bit more pleasant. But wherever you are, we're gonna bounce the knees up and down, and just gently leaning forwards. Nothing like we're not trying to get our chest down, we're not reaching for anything, we're just slightly leaning forwards. Oh, it feels good to get a nice stretch on the outer hip and glute. Cool. And then really quick, last stretch, sit back a little bit, then take your legs out to a straddle. Again, just however wide is comfortable for you. Could be here, could be here. You could be leaning back on your hands, which is awesome if that's where you're at. If not, try and sit up tall. If you want to push it a little bit further, you can lift your hips up, push them forwards, and then sit down even further. Just sit here, lean in a little bit, twist in a little bit. Just see where it feels tight for you. You might feel it more in your hamstrings, you might feel it in your adductors, you might feel it in your actual hips. You may feel it in your low back, it just depends where you're tight. Especially in the morning, you can be a bit tighter than later on. And bring your feet together, make your way up, standing up nice and slowly, nice and gently, back just standing on our mat, reach up, stretch once more, and relax, cool. So hope you feel good, hope you feel a bit better, and that you're ready for your day, so have fun and thanks for joining me.